will make them pay for what they did to Heidi. I believe I have found your friend. Heidi! Oh, poor girl. What did they do to you? Shh. It's all right now. Everything will be all right. Please, Gerda, now I have found Heidi, I need some help from you in return. Shh, Heidi. You should thank the man, don't you think? <laughs> Professor Gygax seems to rule this facility with an iron fist. Do you know anything about her? She's sick. She did nasty things to us. Separated me and Heidi just for fun. Before she got here, this place was all right. Have you ever met Professor Becker? I remember him. He was in charge here before that witch Gygax. But I haven't heard his voice for a long time. Too bad. He was nice. How did you end up in Block B? The nurses say I'm prone to violent outbursts, but they're wrong. I just do what Heidi tells me. Tell me all you know about those funny-talking people. We'd hear their screams. The guards would take them down the corridor behind you and they'd disappear. And the screams would stop. I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. Doors can be open for deliveries.
painting in a mental institution. Vogel would be delighted. I command you to let me out! I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Lost you, Heidi. Doors can be open for deliveries. Scratches. Something has been moved through here. This seems to be a locking mechanism. The whole thing must be a door.
Make them pay for what they did to Heidi. I found Hell's door, the one that made the foreigners silent, remember? How do I open it? Gerda, please, I cannot get inside. You have to tell me how to open it. How can you speak to me like nothing's wrong? Can't you hear Heidi crying? Look at her! Look! She's suffering. I can't even hear my thoughts over her screams. Poor, poor Heidi. We will fix you. I promise. We will fix you! Leave it with me, Gerda. My comrades in Paris shall hear about this! Going to be good as new.
Don't you look down on me. Open the door. Unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the streets? I'd rather not sit in this chair ever again. Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. The man will be back with your new part soon.
Will this help fix your friend? Give it to me. How is she feeling? Everything will be all right, Heidi. Everything. Goethe, I have a couple of questions. Yes, I... Shut your dirty little mouth, Goethe. You've said enough already. Uh... She won't speak no more. Now it's only Heidi. You helped me, and I didn't cut out your eyes. So we're even. Now go! <laughs> Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. Ask if you dare, but if I get bored, there will be consequences. I found Hell's Door, but it's locked. Is there a way to get in? Hell's Door? Never heard of it. That's not true. You, Gerda, told me that Hell's Door makes people silent forever. And you believe that snotty little girl? I'll personally ensure that she never dares to speak again! Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. I found Hell's door, but it's locked. Is there a way to... That's not true. You, Gerda... Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. I found Hell's door, but it's locked. That's not true. You, Gerda... Professor Gygax hurt you repeatedly, scarred your body and mind. You are not protecting Hell's door. You are simply afraid of the consequences were I to enter. I could tap your teeth out with a hammer until you choked on the blood in bits. You could. But then you would live the rest of your life in fear of Professor Gygax. I can make that feeling go away. How? I can stop her. But the key, Heidi, the key to Hell's door is critical to stopping Professor Gygax. And I think you know where it is. Tell him! But you said... And now I say tell him! The professor. She has a special key. Keeps it close and only brings it down when new people go through. Behind those closed doors, those people start to sing. Oh, they sing in so much pain. Gygax. Of course. Thank you, Gerda. Heidi. I must leave. Leave? <laughs> you joke. Nobody leaves the Edelweiss. Now you will be with us forever!
last! You came to your senses. My humble apologies, Emperor. Spare me your groveling, Englishman. Of course. You are right as ever, for you see, time is of the essence. The Royalists have risen again, and your darling Josephine needs you. Paris needs you. Mon amour! But the guards upstairs in reception stand in your way. Ha! They will pose no problem for the likes of me. Merci, Englishman. When I return to Les Tuileries, I shall make you a general. Oh, you are too kind, Emperor. Now go. Your freedom awaits. I am coming, Josephine. Josephine, me voila! Impossible! Get him! Psst. Watson. Over here. Holmes? What are you doing here, and where did you get that outfit? It is unimportant. I require your assistance. Well, that is rich, because clearly it was unimportant to tell me what you were planning beforehand. Amos Colby? Your naivety was essential to sell the disguise. Actually, it wasn't. You should have trusted me. Watson, we can discuss this later. Time is of the utmost importance. The kidnapped people may still be here. This is what I know so far. What? You really found all this on your own? Focus, Watson. I need you to find a key. It will be most unique. All the details are in my notes. Logic dictates that Gygax will keep it near her. Once acquired, you must get it to me. Perhaps the kitchen dumbwaiter could be of use. Holmes, I... I can't do this. I'm no spy. Yes, you can, Watson. You are unfailingly dependable. Dr. Watson, visitors are not permitted back here. I am terribly sorry, Mr. Kuntz. After the war, my nerves, I, uh, I fled all that commotion. It is nothing. A patient attempted to escape. He will not get far. Now, if you would like to follow me. Blood in the water. Someone must have washed their hands here recently. What have we got ourselves into, Holmes? The only reason to hang something this harrowing here would be to create another patient. Perhaps I should take this. For all, I hope it won't be needed. Did a child make these? Miss? Too bad my parents had to leave so soon. I haven't seen them for months. Minor birds, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful creatures. How sad that they're caged here. I don't want to guard Block B tonight. I'm struggling to remember something. This area is off limits. A patient has escaped. Dusty but functional. Oh, we never use that. I think it connects somewhere downstairs. Ah, Dr. Watson. Just the man I wanted to see. Professor, I'm surprised you're not trying to catch that escapee. 
Please, my time is far too valuable. I hope Nurse Kunz has been taking good care of you. He has certainly kept me out of trouble. Professor, it is time for your appointment with your next patient, Mr. Wolf. Herr Wolf can wait until tomorrow. I wish to speak with Dr. Watson. Uh, as you wish. You still see patients yourself, even as the director of this entire facility? Only the important ones. And yet I rarely get to pick the brain of a man like yourself. I think it is time we got to know each other, no? I'm afraid there's not much to know. I'm just an average chap living a rather prosaic life these days. Dr. Watson, those of us who pursue knowledge are anything but average. Now, who are you? I'm a physician in search of a stimulating career. I have patients, yes, but admittedly, I'm more interested in the cutting edge of medical research. So when I read about the Black Adel Vice and your work on the healing of minds, I simply had to learn more. I suppose my Adel Vice was always destined to attract other curious minds. But before we continue, I want you to understand one thing. A broken mind can never be truly healed. Ah, I see. So, what exactly do you do here? It is simple. If you cannot fix a person's nature, you must force them to forget it. Surely there are other methods of treatment. How naive. You remind me of a man I once knew, Professor Becker. But we do not speak of him anymore. A colleague? The former director here. One day he realized that Edelweiss had outgrown him and had to leave his place. Do you grow weary of me already, Doctor? I was simply admiring your office, Professor. Apologies. While I am pleased you appreciate its practicality and appearance, we were discussing bigger things. Was my conversation boring you? No, not at all. I, I merely... No, no. I understand full well. You're not seeking conversation. What do you mean? It is obvious. Your mind craves truth, but not in this form. You must witness a practical demonstration if you are to learn. I'm certainly intrigued. Would that be possible? Of course. I propose a journey between the jury of the human brain. You will not leave without being truly enlightened. Kunz, take Dr. Watson back to the courtyard. Then tell the nurses to prepare the operation room and the girl with the doll. Yes, Professor. Our preparations will take a little time. I will come for you soon, Doctor. Photograph seems recent. A commemorative photo album. Been a while since I've been in one of these. Good Lord, that's a lot of records. you're finding your room.
comfortable, Dr. Watson. I can't just leave Holmes here alone. Professor Gygax will have much to tell you. I hear them scratching. Don't you hear it? Give it to me. No, I don't want to. Why not? You are Mr. Wolf, am I right? Oh, hello. Who might you be? My name is Dr. John Watson. I wanted to talk with you, if you didn't mind. Ah, Doctor. I don't suppose you could help. I, I seem to have forgotten where I am. We're in the Black Edelweiss, Mr. Wolf. It's an asylum in Switzerland, and you are one of its most important patients. But why am I here? That's what I was about to ask you. I can't remember. Sorry, I, I can't remember anything. It's all right. You don't need to push. Try to relax. Let the thoughts come and go. Now, what comes to mind? Mr. Wolf? Oh, hello. Who might you be? We... we just went over this. I'm sorry, but I don't think we've met. We were just discussing this facility, the Black Edelweiss Asylum, and why you are here. That name does sound familiar. Holmes, the things I do for you. Excuse me, who are you? And who's this Holmes fellow? I am Dr. Watson, and Holmes is... Well, you could call him my imaginary friend. That's just a little joke, don't mind me. But why am I here, Doctor? Am I sick? I'm sure I can take a look. do to you. Excuse me? Uh, who are you? Oh, n never mind. Did you hear that a patient... All the guards rushed off to find him. I suppose it will be one less ungrateful mouth to feed if he dies out there. Hello again. You won't remember me, but we've met before. I am Dr. John Watson, and you are Professor Becker. You were the previous director of this facility, the Black Edelweiss. Professor, really? Actually, that name does sound familiar. Wait, wait. Let me write it down. I try to recall memories through writing, but they always feel just out of reach. As a matter of fact, I have more for you to jot down. Oh, yes. Yes, please, anything. Professor Gygax did this to you. She made you forget everything, even who you are. But we will play a trick on her. We will write a letter so that she learns her lesson. Put down what I dictate. 
Dear Professor Gygax, I bitterly regret that I let my beautiful alpine flower fall under your influence. I see now that you never deserved to sit as the director of the Black Edelweiss. You are not, as you so claimed, the future of the Edelweiss, and you never were. And by the time you make it to my cell, the police will already know the truth of how you came to be director of this asylum. Signed, Professor Becker. There. It's done. Now, hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is John Watson. I'm a doctor from London, a veteran of Afghanistan, and I wish to be a writer, though deep down I fear I lack the talent. And presently I'm risking my life to help my brilliant detective flatmate in the pursuit of a cult of kidnappers, even as I fear it may destroy him. I'm tired and hungry, and I have not had a good bath in weeks, and yet despite it all, I... I feel alive. Any more questions? Good heavens, sir! You're as mad as they come! Try to get some rest. One of the patients asked me to deliver this note. It's for Professor Gygax. Thank you, Doctor. Leave it with me. A letter for you. Unbelievable. Kunz, with me. Nothing special about this. Close, but I don't think this is the key. Mm -mm, this is too small to be what Holmes asked for. An Edelweiss relief about two inches in diameter. This must be what Holmes was after.
Oh, hello. Who might you be? Don't try to fool me, Becker. I saw your letter written by your own hand. That name does sound familiar. Is it mine you said? Nice try. What else? Tooth of an adult male likely lost in a beating. Only a couple of days old. The inside of the cuff is worn. It's been used often. A wax cylinder. There is something recorded on it. The writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. Looks as if it's been recently used. Dynamo machine. Provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Full grain leather straps. Impossible to escape. A very professional brain dissection. <laughs> 